Hello everybody, welcome to the sixth video in the Devolve and the Vote series, the penultimate one dealing with the manifestos of the parties. This time I'm looking at the SNP's manifesto, and um, let's get started. This time we start with public services. Freeze council tax throughout the next five year parliament. Well, that means they're just keeping what they started last time, so everything's been frozen. Uh, so there's no change there from last time. Keep Scottish water in public ownership. Freeze water bills for two years and deliver a 2.5 billion investment programme. Well, this is different from the others. Effectively, um, keeping status quo and just making more investment in the actual body itself. A community empowerment bill to give local people greater say in their area, including taking over underused public buildings. A community empowerment bill. Interesting idea, I suppose. Achieve a 25% cut in Quangos by the end of 2011. Quangos. Now, what are Quangos? Well, they're organisations funded by the government, but they are independently run. So which ones, I wonder, are to be cut? Protect the NHS budget with extra £1 billion over four years. A ring fence and an increase. A step better than the others, I suppose. £30 million to increase number of cancers detected at first stage by 25% starting the lung, breast and colorectal cancer. This would be good, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it would save so many more lives if they could increase that uh, detection rate. NHS to make further £300 million efficiency savings in the next year to be retained by NHS boards for reinvestment. Hold on a minute. The budget has been protected, but they still need to make savings. Can this be done without, with, with, with the other in place? Guarantee no compulsory redundancies in the NHS. Oh, this is getting more confusing. Hold on. Ring fence and additional budget. Efficiency savings, but no redundancies. So, how are you going to make savings? It can't be all just on efficiency. It just can't. It's not going to work. Tackling hospital infection are top priority and bring forward new minimum standards for MRSA screening. Good call. Good call. Keep prescriptions free of charges. Well, with a bit of a backtrack if they did um, do anything else because they brought in the policy of free prescription charges to the SNP. Reintroduce legislation on minimum alcohol pricing. Well, this failed last time they made an attempt at this. Will it work again? I do agree with the idea, in principle, that the law should really be attacking the retailers that are charging cheaply, which I suppose is what this is supposed to do, than the ones that are actually charging over, over much. So we're talking about supermarkets and things like that. New strategies to cut smoking-related illnesses and death and obesity. Well, we've smoking ban in public places in the work area. What else could they do? we would be interested to see if they can do this. Single integrated system of health and social care across Scotland, instead of all those trusts. Okay. Protect free eye tests in Scotland. Good idea. Sight is so important and to ensure testing is free is really essential to keep the health of Scotland up. Maintain police officer numbers including a thousand extra police delivered in the last parliament. So are they cutting anything? Change the law to make more money from criminals for investment back into communities. Well, this has cropped up before another manifesto, and I like the idea in principle, I really do. Move towards single national fire and rescue service in the next parliament. Here we go. Why do we need a single national fire and rescue service? We're big enough already. We don't need any more. we less efficient. Cut number of police forces currently eight. So hold on a minute. They're maintaining police numbers, but not the forces. What about duplication redundancies? <sighs> but then again, they're maintaining police officer numbers, aren't they? They're not actually saying anything about redundancies. Zero tolerance approach to football related violence and prejudice, including domestic abuse, alcohol misuse, racism, and sectarianism. This has been in the news with parcel bombs sent to the Celtic manager and two Celtic supporters recently. Uh, I know this manifesto will have been written and was released before the news happened, but this is the stupidest, idiotic thing about Scottish football. Uh, the sectarianism, the sectarian idiots of Rangers and Celtic, chiefly, but of all the sport, it's ridiculous. It's something that should be happening in this day and age. And I do not agree with any phrasing of either side of the old firm or anything like that. It's just 
too gone too far, it really has. Proposed to UK government a new ballistics DNA database so each and every firearm in Scotland could be tracked. That's an interesting idea, but could it be feasible? Could it work? Demands same rights for Scots law in relation to European human rights legislations enjoyed by other jurisdictions. Well, there has been a little ch change in Scot law around for something around this recently. We should be in line, I suppose. Work to win new job creating powers from the Scottish Parliament. Something that could be beneficial for Scotland. Ah, good idea, SNP. Bring forward legislation for an independence referendum. My views would put this video to over an hour if I said anything. It's got to be in the manifesto for the SNP though. I mean, that's what they stand for end of the day, Scottish independence. New £250, £250 million pound Scottish Futures Fund using savings from low cost from the cost of the new Forth Road Bridge, focusing on young people and early years, rolling out super fast broadband to rural areas, a warm homes initiative and transport fund. Ah, a way of getting money from this without outside innovation. But savings on the new Forth Bridge? Can it be done? Do you really need to spend all that money to make sure it's safe and last longer than 40 years like the other bridge? Next generation broadband available to all by 2020 and the rate of uptake in Scotland, at or above UK average by 2013 and highest among the UK nations by 2015. That's so much more important than rural Scotland to connect to the outside world for trade and communication. I'd love to see this happen. I'd love to see this target be reached. Press Westminster for devolution of corporation tax, excise duty, enhanced borrowing powers, responsibility for the Crown Estate Commission and job centres. There's a lot more powers, and Scotland already has more than Wales and Ireland do, Northern Ireland do. No use of the Scottish variable rate or ta tartan tax in the next Parliament. Well, as I mentioned in previous videos, they have the power, but again the option seems to be not to use it. Probably for the best in this financial climate. Establish four new enterprise zones across Scotland. Well, where will these be, and what will it entail? I wonder. Continue to invest in Scotland's town centres. Continue. For some of the town centres, when did it start? Come on, tell me, when did it start? Continue to support Interactive Scotland and other creative sector industries. The future economy, good shout. Long-term strategy for science and engineering and back introduction of legal status for commercial space flight and permission to use, to mis permission for the use of RAF lossy mouth. Ah, Virgin Galactic. Be nice if we can get this. I think there's only one in America at the moment, so it'd be nice if we can get another base here in Scotland. Increase domestic energy generation from renewables to 100% by 2020, ensuring 130,000 jobs are delivered in the low carbon economy. This is a target that I don't think will even be at 75% by then, but I like the optimism, it's good to have a, a target to go to. Keep the Forestry Commission as a publicly owned body and forest in public hands. Well, there's no change there then, and they're not going down the route of down south. Support the use of electric cars. Yes. And create a network that supports the use of them at long distance, so more charging points. Press for the proposed Green Investment Bank to be the quoted caters in Scotland. Well, a lot of parties are looking to see this happen. Demand release of 2,200 million fossil fuel levy from the UK government. Oil than the SNP, here we go. I won't blather on about it as it would be another 30 minutes on the video. Look at legislation on tackling high hedges. No. Cut them down. <laughs> Basically, cut them down. No university fees for Scottish students still at the same in Scotland requiring additional funding of £93 million pounds a year. Keeping the skaters keeping the status quo, not status quo, status quo, unlike the Tories. Bring in new university level graduate, uh, graduate apprenticeship and technical apprenticeship for colleges. Well, will it help get students to the next level from college? Mm, I don't know. New generation of national qualifications. Well, have started grades and hires have the time. I still think it's a better system than down south, personally. Further cut teacher unemployment. We'll stop offering one year places and new qualified teachers then and actually give them more permanent position if you can do it. This idea of having one year placements for the teachers and then none of them work again, it's ridiculous. Maintain the education maintenance allowance, something English students aren't getting soon, or well, not getting as much of. £1.25 billion pound investment in new schools for projects in every local authority area in Scotland. So the new schools programme continues, but is funding going to come from up top? I don't know if it 
does or not? I need to look into that. Create conditions in which every child will learn two languages in addition to the mother tongue to be drilled out across two sessions of Parliament, so basically over the next two, two, eight years. I like it, but one of them I think maybe should be Gaelic. Or Gaelic. Take forward projects including Borders Railway, M8 Bayliston to Newhouse, M74 Wraith Junction, and M8, M73, and M74 Network Improvements. Carrying on with these important route upgrades. That's cool. No bridge tolls. Well, they're keeping that policy. Let's cut the queues at the bridges. There's no two toll booths stopping traffic. My only concern is the maintenance funding. How's that going on now? How do they get the money to do repairs on the bridges? Tough tenancy rules for those who commit antisocial behaviour. It's, it's all about the eviction then, isn't it? Publish a national strategy on housing for older people. Are there changing needs for old people? Well, I suppose I could ask my parents. Use the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow to put Scotland on the path to a healthier and more successful future. While I passed the velodrome the other day, wow, what a building. It's stunning. It's really stunning. It's just outside Parkhead um, Football Stadium. If Scotland can be healthier after the games, then all the better. Definitely. Demand return of lottery cash diverted from Scottish good quarters to help fund the London Olympics, which is £114 billion. Pounds. Well, that's a better suggestion. Ask for it to go towards the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Deliver by 2014 at least two hours of PE in primary schools and at least two periods of PA in and secondary schools, pupils in S1 to S4. I thought that already was the case. Maybe not. Oh well. Support Historic Scotland as they take forward their strategy for sustaining and developing traditional building skills. Well, this is nice with proper restoration of the properties. I like the idea. Should carry on with it. One point. Consult on issues of same-sex marriage and registration of civil partnerships. This is something all parties are looking to do. Marriage and civil partnership should be the same. They shouldn't be different. At the moment they have slightly different legal terms. And I believe that if you're going to get married or you should be in a civil partnership, they should have the same rights. So, that's the SMP's manifesto and some of the points I picked out that are interesting from there. So that's been now done the four main parties and recorded them all and edited them all. So, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. I have one more video, a quick roundup of some of the smaller party policies and some of the more interesting points. Um, and then it's carrying on to um, a few more explanation videos and I'm going to be filming over the next week or so um, some trips to some of the marginal constituencies. I'm going to be describing what a marginal constituency is as well. So um, until next time, thanks very much for watching and um, I'll see you later.